Angya, Angzia. Professor, yes. can you remember yes. we met in Thailand? Oh yes, yes, we met in a Thailand. Conference. Yes. A conference, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you, yes. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome. Yes, welcome. Good evening, Dr. Rang. This is Rajshekar. He is not able to hear. Huh? Oh. No, but it is audible, sir. Hello, Hello? Professor Rang. Yes. yes. Rajshekar sir is uh, talking with you, sir. He is okay. uh, also in our chat. Can you see Rajshekar sir there? Raja? Can I didn't see. see. Uh, Hello? Hello? Oh, yes, I, I see. Ah. No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, Professor Raja. Sir, you can stop you? sharing this so that we can see all the faces. Here. Can, uh, for a moment, we will stop the sharing. You can see, ma'am. No, no. Uh, Professor has uh, logged in. Oh, please wait. Ah, yes, sir. Live started. Mm. Sorry for that, my computer is a bit problem. Okay, okay, sir. If we remove that, we'll start the session. Ratan. Ma'am. Sir, to help on the... Jensi, ma'am, you start sharing, ma'am. Automatically, it will be stopped. Oh. Oz? Jensi, ma'am. Sir, yes, sir. You please start sharing. Automatically, this will be stopped. Oh, I'm, I'm sharing oh. my, my, my screen. Do you see it? No? No, no, sir. We have stopped, sir. Uh, our, one of our colleague will share the PPT, sir. Then okay, you okay. can talk. Ah, okay, it's great. Okay, Jen C, ma'am. Oh, no, 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 now it's okay. I've stopped sharing, sir. Ah, you can you can share, sir. Like, yes, I'm just uh, stop sharing for a minute. We will officially start. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so welcome you all to the uh, sixth day of the International Faculty Development Program organized by AAA Department, Arpadavid Institute of Technology. And I would like our HOD to welcome this virtual gathering. Good evening to one and all present here for the live session of the International Faculty Development Program on research challenges and innovation on renewable energy systems. Organized by the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, AVIT, Vinaya Mission Research Foundation. Uh, distinguished Chief Guest of the Day, Dr. Ranjia, Head, Renewable Energy and Smart Grid Lab, Professor, Department of Electrical Power Engineering, Yong Kong Technological University, Myanmar. On behalf of our management, Director, Principal, Professor P. Rajeshagran, Vice Principal, Professor of Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department and other faculty members of uh, Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department. I welcome you, sir. And uh, I'm very happy that uh, on behalf of all the work today, our uh, Vice Principal Admin have also joined today with us. So I request to sir to uh, share a few views with us regarding the event and uh, also about uh, uh, the guest, Dr. Ong Jana. Yes, madam. Uh, thank you. Uh, Pro Professor Dr. Ongzia, uh, Dr. Chitra, and professors from Tripoli Department, Arapadi Institute of Technology, and other participants. A very good evening to all of you. Uh, uh, my, uh, my sincere thanks to Dr. Ongzia for uh, accepting our invitation to take this webinar on uh, uh, renewable energy in Myanmar. This uh, international FDP 
uh, we have conducted for the, uh, for, for the benefit of our faculty members and other uh, uh, colleges faculty members. Uh, the last uh, uh, five days is the sixth, the sixth day. Uh, today, uh, last five days, uh, the, uh, many uh, professors from uh, India and abroad, they have taken the session. Uh, it was a wonderful uh, session. Today, we are uh, expecting a, a wonderful session from Dr. Angzia. Once again, I thank Dr. Angzia uh, from Angoon Technological University. Uh, he is an expert in uh, renew renewables uh, uh, in Myanmar. So he is the one uh, who developed uh, uh, by using the DAMP software uh, for, uh, for uh, hydroelectric power plant. So uh, we are uh, I, I'm very much awaiting for you to hear your uh, valuable webinars. Thank you, Dr. Angzia, and uh, congratulations to the department for organizing this webinar. Thank you, participants, for participating in this uh, six days uh, FDP. Thank you, Onata. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, uh, to hear my voice. Uh, thank you very much for your kind invitation uh, to my present. Before starting my this session, I would like to introduce our chief guest, Dr. Okay. Bhubadi. Okay. Will introduce a few minutes. Sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Chitra, madam. Thank you. Sir, good evening to one and all present. Good evening. My voice is clear? Good. Just, a, just a second, sir. Just, Bhubadi, sir, please. Just a second. Ah, yes, sir, you can go ahead. Good evening to one and all. I join with the HOD, madam, and uh, Professor P. Rajay, sir, and Ratan, sir. Welcome once again for this International Faculty Development Program on research challenges and innovation in renewable energy system. I am happy to introduce our guest speaker, Professor Ong Zia. He is the Executive Technical Director of Future Dam Program Operator, Ukri Research Projects in Myanmar. He played a wider role uh, of high rank international research project collaboration and renewable energy model in YTU University Projects, Myanmar. Also, he is a head of renewable energy and a smart grid lab and a deputy HOD of electrical power engineering of Young Technological University, Myanmar. He graduated PhD program from uh, uh, Yagan Technology University, Myanmar in the area of software application to renewable energy capacity building. An ME program from uh, Nido University, Japan. Postdoctoral fellowship from University, from University Court Azur, France. He gained, he gained honorary, <coughs> honorary professor and a doctor of science degree award in uh, Malawi, USA. His area of specializations are energy planning, smart cities, energy, <coughs> renewable energy source, hydro power plant. The aim of this uh, webinar is to analyze and discuss the possible research potential in a renewable energy source system. First day, we had a discussion with uh, Dr. Bo Mr. Bhubadi sir, NAW Chennai, modeling on wind blade and gearbox system, gearbox system. Second day, we had a power tonics application to wind energy system, application to grid. Third day, design and modeling of solar system by nanotechnology. And fourth day, case study in on biomass plants with respect to various process. And the fifth day, energy solution for smart city and commerce communities. And today's section, renewable energy in uh, various case study of renewable energy system in Myanmar. Sir, thank you, sir, for accepting your invitation. Ang John, sir, professor. Okay, now I hand over to our uh, chief guest for presentation. Ratan. Okay, thank you very much for your kind invitation to this very impressive event. So, so uh, according to the time limit, I would like to present my works. So, please share the PowerPoint, please. 
Gen C, ma'am. Slides. Slides. Sorry, you can start. Now, next slide. So, where is this slide? Ah, yes, you can see the slides. No, I, I cannot see. But it was shared. Oh. You can see, sir? Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. Shall we start? Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. I, I'll... So, I, I see now. Okay. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a. okay let, let, let me start my presentation. This is the agenda of today's my presentation. It's include the introduction to the YMTU and and this also cover the climate change and sustainable hydropower development. And also it covers the mass energy policy my renewable energy resources and renewable energy projects. Also, uh, solar PV hybrid, mini grids, and home pro uh, scenario, and as well as the future tense research projects are included in my presentation. Okay. Next slide. This is our university. It's named as the Yangon Technological University. This is the premier and the best technological university in Myanmar. The only the students who gave the highest and very high mass from the medical examination can enroll in the YDU. This means the YDU is the number one engineering university in Myanmar. There are currently about 2,000 students seeking knowledge and experience in YDU. Yes. Yes, next slide. Okay. Next. Okay. This is a uh, academic Department of the YDU. Okay. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. okay. Uh, these are the priority areas of research collaboration with the foreign university in YDU. So you can see there are 10 areas, including energy, environmental, and sanitary, urban and regional planning, and many others areas uh, included. Uh, in the bright area of research collaboration of our university. We have 47 lab trees and two research center. Okay, next slide, please. Currently, uh, we have an over uh, more than 90 MOUs with the uh, international university. So it's include UK, Australia, and many ASEAN, and also from the EU countries. Next slide. Next slide, okay. Here yeah, is a part of climate change and sustainable hydropower, yes. What is the climate change? How do we know and why is climate change happening? Yes, you can, uh, you know that there are uh, a lot of uh, the famous uh, when about the climate change. So we need to fight the climate change, okay. Next slide. Okay, next slide. So do you think that aliens cause the global warming? And so this, this may be one issue. Actually the climate change from the environmental impacts of the air pollution, water pollution, and the land pollution. So uh, we are getting uh, our three, our answer by this figure. Okay, next slide. Also from the transportation so that there are a lot of emissions. So these are the CO2 emissions from the various fuel. So you can see the natural gas at the lowest uh, kilogram of CO2 per kilowatt hour. Next slide, please. So our world is 
Safari and Google One. So these are the components of the climate system. So you can see uh, the evaporation and precipitation, and then uh, uh, industry application and domestic application, or uh, what are uses are uh, uh, link each other. Okay, next slide. So climate, yeah, these are the uh, those are the indicator of the global warming. It include the reducing of glacier and ice sheets and increasing of the sea level and ocean heat contest. So many, many uh, indicators of global warming. Uh, we know that. Okay, next slide, please. There are many, many uh, uh, researchers uh, uh, recording about the temperature changes of the our world. So it's very, uh, there's no doubt that the global temperature is rising year and year. Next slide, please. Also, there is the significant rise in the sea levels year and year. Next slide, please. So actually, our planet is located in the, uh, is, uh, our planets get the energy from the sun. So there are many solar radiation come from the sun are uh, reflected to the atmosphere and sun are uh, greenhouse gases. Okay, next slide, please. Actually, uh, we are living in a global carbon cycle. So you can see in this figure that uh, the emission rate of the carbon is larger than the sinking uh, rate to the nature. Okay, it's like this. There are three key climate driven changes. These are the changes in the electricity demand and changes in evaporation and the changes in water demand. Yes, next slide, please. So, we get precipitation from the uh, runoff data and evaporation and then the other uh, storage capacity over there. Okay, next slide, please. So what is, we have a question. What is energy? Uh, energy is a critical ingredient in all economic endeavors, essential for the provision of human needs. So there is a new, and there are never be a true energy shortage. So energy maybe we found another. So uh, actually we need to harvest this energy. I mean, so we need to harvest uh, our nature energy. Okay, it's like this. We have another question. Is uh, how can fight the global one? Yes, yes. Uh, so there is the uh, many uh, roadmaps of the wall to address the climate change. So the world has a renewable energy map 2030. So EU have target EU 2020, 2030, and 2050. And also we have other mechanisms to fight the climate change and global warming, it's like this. So uh, we have the two selection for our usage of energy, renewable or non-renewable, infinite energy or finite energy. Okay, we have choice. There is very evident that today is the energy revolution. This means that uh, today's energy trend is towards the momentum on the renewable system. Next slide, please. Here you can see, yes, it's the, the increasing rate of renewable generation capacity uh, after year, uh, year 2050. Okay, next slide, please. Here you can see the renewable power capacity, yes. So uh, we need to double the, our renewable energy uses. Yes, okay, next slide, please. You can see this figure, that's, uh, yes. So uh, hydropower project development cycle, so uh, there is a planning state, project implementation, and a project operation. So um, I mean, the hydropower, Hydropower uh, implementation is a long term project. Okay. Next slide, please. So, prior to citing hydropower project within the basic, typically question that might be considered includes how much is the overall expected power demand based low peak, peak load, which uh, reach or triple three have the best condition. And uh, is there any logic as you can in which station should be built? Can station support each other in their operation? What other ways do space hydropower exist in the area? How much storage capacity do they look at? So we have the many questions before we sign in hydropower project. Okay, next slide, please. 
this is just a highlight of the siding of hydropower plant in two options. So we have the option A and option B. Okay, next slide, please. Also, design engineer had the, uh, many questions about the implementation or construction of hydropower plants. Uh, some of the important questions are what kind of dams we have to build? Uh, also, how much lime dust storage capacity both for hydro and other needs? How much capacity of space work and other outlets? What kind of power house can we project be built in stage? Okay, this slide, please. So we have the additional consideration that should address the influence to the various degree by climate change. How much should be installed generation capacity? What is the best balance between reservoir cycles and environmental and social impacts? What is the design plan? Uh, how can the resources be used most efficiently? Where there we need to mitigate environmental impacts and downstream flows. So these are the important questions, additional consideration. Next slide, please. There is no doubt that climate change improves uh, the operating of the hydropower plants. So we need to consider how much water should be stored for dry periods and periods of high demand, how much water should be released in any period of the one season of flood, when should land generation outlets be used, when should sediment be placed, how should fluctuation of the reservoir level and of downstream flow be managed to minimize the environmental and social impacts. So, you know, this is the very important question to minimize the environmental and social impacts regarding the implementation of the hydropower plan. Okay, next slide, please. For the less infrastructure project, uh, uh, there may also be legal, legal requirements, um, master planning, electricity generation, expansion plan, strategy, uh, environmental assessment, river basin development plan, project identification, feasibility study, designs, environmental and social impact assessment, environmental and social management plan, sustainability assessment, construction plan, and operation plan as well. Next slide, please. An early summary of water resource planning recommendation, uh, the interconnection for system to provide additional backup for changing regional connection and increment the construction where possible and economically feasible. Choice of the reverse design in which the Chosen design will be fairly good and a wide range of organs rather than an optimal and a one organ. Postponement of the reversible decision. So uh, we have many uh, consideration and many recommendations about hydropower plan. Okay, next slide, please. So, uh, there is a very significant that there is a relation between the relationship between the dams and the climate change. So, because you know, uh, in the reservoir, we store a, a huge amount of the water storage capacity. So, there may be the less evaporation rate, and also there may be the, the uh, negative impact at the downstream as well as the upstream side. So, there may be the significant relationship between the dams and the climate change. Okay. Next slide, please. So main parameters or factors affecting greenhouse gas production from dams. So there are uh, many parameters, includes carbon nutrient loaded in the reservoir rainfall and reservoir age, drawdown zone, exposure, present of the low level outlets, reservoir shapes, and what are this? These are many parameters. Okay. Slide. You can see the sand uh, of the ground gas emission from the new reservoir. So there are three steps. Uh, the first step is to determine the carbon supply. Second step is uh, what impact the ability to create ground gas. And then the third step is the federal that influence the ability to release ground gas. Okay, next slide, please. Also, uh, for climate change mitigation, there are key questions are how to decrease the impact of climate change on hydroelectric resources and how to promote long-term sustainability of hydropower development. And also with the development of advanced technology models, methods, and improved 
algorithm, more precision, accurate planning, and forecasting performance of climate change is greatly enhanced and increasing the proportion of hydropower generation and also optimization hydropower operation and management. This like this. Also, uh, sometimes we can change our generation means also we can uh, Plus, uh, we can use the flexibility of our generation and then we can mitigate the climate change. Okay, next slide, please. You can see the terminology of adaptation to climate change. Uh, the important are the sensitivity and the vulnerability. Okay, next slide, please. Also, this include adaptation, adaptive capacity, and resilience. Okay, next slide, please. Actually, uh, we can utilize hydropower as an instrument for adaptation. Uh, next slide, please. Now you can see that how can we adapt the water and agriculture. It's like this. This is a climate change adaptation about infrastructure and settlement and human health. Uh, so you can see the eyes. Yes, this is the climate change adaptation regarding tourism and transport. It's like this. This is a climate change regarding the energy. So uh, as the strategy, uh, we are strengthening of the over transmission distribution infrastructure and ground cabling on utilities, energy efficiency, and use of renewable sources, reduce dependent on single sources of energy. These are the efficient option. Also, analyze policy framework and national energy policy regulation. Yes. Yes, next slide, please. Yes. This is a session of the hydropower scenario. Okay, next slide, please. According to the time limit, uh, I would like to uh, skip a uh, slide. Okay. So you can see uh, here is the, yes, it's a fast story hydropower capacity worldwide. So this is about 160.3 gigawatts. Yes, next slide, please. Here you can see the top 10 hydropower installed capacity worldwide. So uh, number one is the China and then United States, Brazil, Canada. So they are a very big gigawatt. Yes, it's like this. This is also the top 10 hydropower country. Yes, it's like this. Here you can see it's a 10 year trend in renewable energy. So uh, there is a significant uh, increasing of the solar and the wind in those years. Next slide, please. Here you can see the hydropower crew, crew the techies. So there is uh, a vision increasing of hydropower. Yes, next slide, please. This is a decarbonization energy where create millions of renewable energy source. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Here you can see the hydroelectric generation capacity Kakawa in Southeast Asia country. So uh, you can see the largest uh, amount is in BNN and we have the very few capacity. Okay, next slide, please. This is the hydropower resources in Myanmar. So according to the Wabban study, we have the 108,000 uh, megawatt, but uh, actually, actually uh, the real implementation percentage is about the 3%. So we have the lead potential of hydropower, but uh, our implementation capacity is, is very, very low. Okay, this slide please. This slide shows the top 20 countries by newly installed capacity. So you can see 
uh, in uh, Route 20 and 30, there are uh, we are our ASEAN neighbors, Cambodia and Laos included. Okay, next slide, please. So this is the top 20 countries by unutilized hydropower pool in Asia. Our country is included in this list because you know uh, we have the very uh, tremendous potential hydropower, but the the real implementation is very much lower than our potential. So this our country included in this country. Okay, next slide, please. These are barriers and enabling factors for hydropower development. So, or to, to, to are many barriers, environmental, social, economics, public assessment, financing costs, for business, and water barriers. Many, many barriers. Okay, next slide, please. So, uh, we need to consider uh, what are the sustainability issues. These are the uh, include technical, environmental, social, economic, and financial, and integrative. It's like this. Now, I would like to share uh, one of the story of the hydropower plant in Myanmar. Okay, it's like this. My focus plant is located in the central part of Myanmar. Its name is the Lua Yeo Hydropower Plant. Um, it was built in the 1999 to the 2011. Okay, it's like this. So we went to that hydropower plant and we interviewed with the, the station operator as well as the, the local villager. It's like this. So you can see in this graph that the actual generation capacity of that hydropower plant is uh, lower than the design capacity. And in the year 2016, its generation capacity is uh, about 50%. So it is not uh, operating in the optimum condition. So it is like a suboptimal condition. So this is the, pro the pro problem of the, that hydropower plant. It's like this. So our situation is the set of demand operation of hydropower plant. According to this situation, negative impacts are the lack of power to the nation and local people. Also, there may be surely negative environmental flow impacts, then the ecosystem will be damaged. The causes for that situation are the weakness in the power system optimization from the uh, because the operator consider the optimization of the type of power plant, size and time power plant. Also, we have the very limited transmission capacity and poor quality of vision grid. And also, we have the poor reliability. And some operator think this cost may be from the research capacity, but it is not a best story how to type plant. It's like this. The solution may be the optimal operation of the hydropower plant. So if we can solve that problem, we can gain the positive impact because we can increase the generation capacity then there is no need to install the new power plant. So also we can supply the power to the electrified area of the Myanmar as well as the local villagers. So this is also the kind of the reduction of CO2 emission instead of the new implementation of fossil fuel power plant. Also, we can conserve the environmental flow as a design. Okay, it's like this. So, what is needed to face these causes? So, the needs are to optimize the power Myanmar power system, also to improve the high power quality of the Shina grid system, also to, we need to install sufficient transmission and including a local substation facility as well as to provide efficient operation of the power plant. Okay, next slide, please. So, what work we do? So, we can do 
the power system optimization also uh, we can enhance the power quality also we need to investigate the needs of the situation so finally uh, i think we need to uh, implement the one of the stakeholder key address dialogue okay it's like this so what is what will be the changes if we can face this problem there may be the beneficial operation hydro power plant and then there will be the next less negative impacts and economic viability and efficient generation. Our goal is the high quality of nation and grid and sufficient low grid, local grid and optimal power system in the market. Okay, it's like this. So, to achieve our goal, we have the activities and objectives. Okay, it's like this. So these are the research question. How can you adopt the rules and plan for optimal power system? How can you narrow the gap between design and generation? How can upgrading transmission capacity and operation to meet local and nation needs? These are the research question of the story. Next slide, please. Here you can see is the problem three above the barrier of the sustainable hydropower development. So the causes are the insufficient electricity generation during summer from the hydropower dams. You know, in the summer, in the summer, uh, there are there are maybe the less amount of the evaporation rate from hydropower dams. So there are maybe the surely insufficient generation. Also, there are maybe the weak transparency and awareness. Also, we have the weak in the ESI and rep. ESI is the environmental social impact assessment and resettlement action plan. Also, there are uh, reset plans. So these are the cause of the barrier. Also, the challenge are the poor budget and the poor technology design, operation and maintenance. Also, negative point of views on the hydro power. So from this program, the effects are the fossil fuel utilization, maybe the another option. So from the fossil fuel utilization, they are with the low renewable energy utilization and then so slow the green crude rate in Yama as well as the green gas emission. Also, they are with the least harnessing of the Yama's rich hydropower potential. So it cannot be fulfilled the electricity needs of the country. So it may lead to delay the development of the country. This is a, just a problem three of the barriers of the sustainable hydropower development. This is just a uh, information share about, the, about one of my booster. Uh, I'm president in the GED 90 conference in the Paris press. So you can download and you can see it's like this. So the research questions are divided to two categories. The first is the local stakeholder, another is for the local communities. Also, there are a question about for the authorized engineer and station operation engineer. Next slide, please. This is the institutional framework for Myanmar electricity and energy. So you can see that I am from the Ministry of Education. So uh, it is related with the renewable energy. Okay. It's like this. This is a national energy policy of Myanmar. Actually, you know, uh, the energy policy is is the main responsibility responsibility of the Ministry of the Electricity and Energy. So. We, have, uh, we are trying to make the center of the policy in line with the ASEAN and the Asia. It's like this. So, uh, there are many uh, policy 
rules to follow and the standard and certification which are appropriate for the nation and which are also compliant with ASEAN and international practice and to promote private setup participation or privatization according to the state economy policy. So, uh, okay, next slide, please. So you can see in our energy nation energy policy, it includes two price, two price, that's the use of solar, wind, hydro, biomass, and other renewable energy resources in fulfilling the electricity needs of our grid area. Okay, next slide, please. Those are the existing laws and regulations. But they are, we need to make, make the development of the renewable energy setup. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, these are the not the updated data, but uh, so you can see that the installed capacity is about uh, 5,000 megawatt. Or the currently, the grid connected household is about 55%. Uh, this is the old data, so this is 55%. Okay, next slide, please. So you can see the hydropower, the share, the less percentage of the install capacity as well as the power generation in the Myanmar generation means. Next slide, please. You can see uh, we have the three matters potential of renewable energy resources, including the hydro and solar. Next slide, please. Also, we have the potential wind geothermal biomass, waste to energy, tight and wave. Okay, next slide, please. You can see this, uh, this is the, the Myanmar map and the hydropower plants in Myanmar. So most of the hydropower plants are located in the very near to the central part of Myanmar and the, the here. And also, they are the little hydropower plant in the northern part. It's like this. This is the historical hydropower capacity addition. It was very fast increasing. Yes. So you can see in this map uh, that there is existing and the planned hydropower development in Myanmar. This slide, please. Now you can see the solar power projects in Myanmar. So uh, there are the, a lot of uh, grid connected solar power projects in the very near to the central part of Myanmar. This means that in, in the central part of Myanmar, there is a very uh, good potential of hydropower. As uh, good potential, sorry, so put a photo put it. Yes. Next slide, please. So this is the Myanmar first grid connected solar power plant. It's located in the Mebu, it's about 220 megawatt, but currently it's producing about 40 megawatt of power. Next slide, please. Yeah, you can see the planned floating solar project in Myanmar. So, Myanmar plan to implement the floating solar power project in the three existing time. Uh, its capacity of each power plant is about 30 megawatt, 30 megawatt. Okay, next slide, please. So you can see uh, we have not, not too much good uh, wind potential, but it may be approximately between 5.5 meter per second to the 7 meter per second in Myanmar. Next slide, please. So I would like to share one story. It's about the 
narrows be behind with mini grid system in Chowda. Next slide, please. Uh, this is uh, the ob objective of the this demonstrated research project and uh, benefits for Myanmar by this research. Yes, next slide, please. Actually, it is maybe the the long story in Myanmar because uh, it is uh, implemented in the 1999 till 2004. Next slide, please. Here you can see the this uh, location of the this power plant, this uh, PV high power plant. It's very near to the uh, the coast area. So you can see the photovoltaic power generation facilities for 80 kilowatt, is a generator 60 kilowatt, wind is 40, and also they are included the polar slope and the storage capacity. This slide please. This is the ground plan. So you can see that the different types of generators plan. Okay, next slide please. So they use the 80 kilowatt to, to generate the 80 kilowatt output. Uh, they use the 672 polycrystalline solar cell module. Also, the power connection is by the self residing forage embedder by IGBT. The incline angle is about the 70 degree. It's like this. This is the daily mean generated energy and daily mean isolation in this slide. So you can see it's the duplicates in the dry because uh, you know that photobotic can generate the larger capacity, capacity in the dry season, but smaller in the rainy season. So it is a very reasonable. It's like this. So this is the wind turbine power generation facility. So you can see uh, it's about the 40 kilowatt output. The generator is a 43 kilowatt permanent magnet second wave generator. Next slide, please. So this is the daily wind generation energy and daily wind velocity of this side. But there is a, yes, also, this generator included. Oh, okay, next slide, please. This shows the capacity and uh, some of the specification of the ice making machine in this PV hybrid, hybrid mini grid system. Next slide, please. This shows the system performance. So you can see. As the base load, there is a DZ generator. And then uh, median load and the peak load are, are covered by the PV and the battery. Next slide, please. So this is the hourly operation pattern and the demand side throughout the whole year. Next slide, please. We side visited this uh, this power plant, and um, we we replaced some of the the broken PV module, and uh, we investigated what are the problems of this side. This is the situation of the wind tower in that that power plant. So. We observe that wind velocity is not enough for the wind turbine in that place. It only gets near average wind speed of two meters per second. So wind turbine stretch is uh, cannot operate in this location. Next slide, please. 
So we uh, also we observe that they are they are is the damage of the the breaker center of the breaker. So the story, but he cannot operate. Okay, it's like this. So this is our can from the our site survey. Uh, we observe that wind turbine cannot be operate well in this location. Also, the story battery cannot be used properly. Also, boilers, only when boilers can operate. And also, uh, we found that the PV system and diesel generator can work properly for connection. It's like this. This is just a comparison of the two renewables in this location. So uh, we found that the photovoltaic PV is more useful and appropriate in Myanmar. Next slide, please. Regarding the comments, uh, our wind turbine is not efficiently used to do this location. And performance PV is more reliable than wind turbine. And lack of certain financial support leads to the deterioration. Also, status of battery is also important to achieve the better performance on this side. And the generator power from this PV type is not enough to meet this uh, increased demand rate. It's like this. Regarding the recommendation, uh, we recommend that the, the wind turbine should be removed to the, the another appropriate size. And also, storage battery should be changed. And operation and maintenance needed. Okay, next slide, please. According to the agenda, this is the uh, time for the solar PV hybrid mini grid system. Actually, our national grid cover about 55%. It's like this. So in the year 2014, I collaborated with the Columbia University and we developed uh, Agenda 2030 is the Myanmar NEP towards universal asset. So it includes on grid, mini grid, and off grid option. Yes, next slide, please. This is sound a record photo that during the World Bank dining event. So you can you know that he is he is the Dr. Peter Lili, Lili and there, who is the uh, CEO of the Homa Energy. He is my close colleague. And then uh, after this event, uh, our country used the Home Homa Pro to invest uh, to investigate the feasibility of the PB mini grid. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Yes, so we have the roadmap for, for the uh, universal electricity set by 2030. So we targeted in the year 2030, our country will be 100% electrifying. Now, here is the 2020, so we electrify 50%. Actually, it is more than 50%. We, we have the 55% of the electrification. Okay, next slide, please. So, you know, uh, there are two options regarding the Myanmar National Electrification Project. Uh, the first one is the grid rule, the another one is the off grid mini grid system. So, the, the mini grid is the responsibility of the DRD. DRD is a development of rural development. It's cover the solar home system and the mini grid project. It's like this. So those are the village criteria for the solar home and mini grid. The regarding solar home system, this involves where to connect the national grid within next 10 to 15 years, according to the geospatial lease cost plan. It must be located over 11 miles with mission grid and able to contribute. And regarding the criteria for the mini grid project, the villager 
must be willing to pay the tariff and potential to apply not writing but also productive end user. This is for the uh, to improve the industrial setup in the Nyamaru village. Also, the, that village must have more than the 50 households. So uh, the development we are developing where we happy the household number household maybe maybe the around 200 to the three, 300 households. Yes, next slide please. So there are two types solar for the solar system. This is the international community pioneer for the mini grid. It's a call for proposal. They are, they are also the budget location, as you can see. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. This is the financial model and ownership, yes. This is the, the planning of the DRD, yes. Next slide, please. So the DRD is planning, and uh, you can see uh, Different fiscal year and then the increasing rate of electrification in the village. Next slide, please. We are the same record photo uh, during ground survey in the rural area. So uh, I site visit to the many village and interview to the, the village chiefs and the monks at the monastery and then the other industry. Uh, Owners, Miss Lab, please. Uh, my site survey was successful because my father had a lot during the site visits. So we saw that uh, many monasteries are implementing the solar PV system. Miss Lab, please. Also, we saw some of the hairdressing shops are using the PV uh, technology. Actually, in that village, the grid is right, but the qual power quality of the, the grid system is not good, so the villagers are using the PV system. Next slide, please. Uh, most of the households in the rural area are just using the dual wood, so it can lead to the deforestation, greenhouse gas emission, a problem cause, and probably by hazards, it's like this. So the villagers are using the water family system and some of the uh, industrial walls, uh, like a small workshop and the, uh, for the, the coffee stores and some of the machines, or those are the some of the uh, productive end user in the rural, Nima rural village, it's like this. Uh, although uh, some villagers and some of the most using the solar system better, uh, we found that, that they are problem at improper design and insufficient power and a limited time of use. So there are many problems related with the existing use of the solar system. This like this. Also, the problems of existing design system are the environment and impacts fire asset and low uh, efficient system and the low power quality and as a sustainable operation and many problems. Next slide, please. So we need to check the energy supply system in Nima uh, rural area. So you can see at the left side is the existing system that we need to check the supply system to the sustainable rural electrification that mentioned in the right side, it's like this. So, yes. Yes, next slide, please. Next slide, yes. So we need to check the, the fuel rules, yes. Uh, this is the HOMA analysis layer. So, uh, HOMA, the energy balance, and then uh, 
Second layer is simulation and optimization, and then finally the sensitivity and analysis. It's like this. This is the, uh, the sale of the ad figure that I developed in one of my articles. So you can download in this article. So uh, in a previous slide, I, I show you about the application of the home app rule in Myanmar regarding the implement, implementation of the BB hybrid system. So to develop the optimal model, we need to uh, do the site visit and we need to select the energy components and technology. And also, we need to predict the appropriate uh, energy uh, solution and low profile of the village. And also, uh, we need to validate the parameter cost and sensitivity values. Next slide, please. So, in this period, more you can see uh, the site survey is at the foundation because without site survey, you cannot know what is. The, the real scenario in this village. And you cannot know what are really happening. So site visit is the, the first and the most important to predict the home up model. So the, the another level, you can see selection of the renewables, evaluation low profile, selection technology and components. And finally, we need to select the best model. It's like this. So we have many of option uh, from the point of view of the PV hybrid plan planner. So we can uh, we can integrate PV wind or wind or battery, wind battery or hydro or the PV or battery. We have many, many options. It's like this. So we observe that uh, PV diesel hybrid system uh, is the PV diesel hybrid system is the most uh, feasible when uh, to implement the off-grid mini-grid in Myanmar. So you know that the PV can only generate in the daytime, but at the night time, we need to supply the electricity. So if we use the diesel, uh, we can reduce the sizing of the battery. So uh, PV diesel hybrid system is one of the best solutions to solve the rural electrification in Myanmar. This like this. So, there are different types of architecture that are regarding the PV highway system. So, uh, they are, this is the photo uh, of the centralized DC based architecture, but it is not uh, applicable for Myanmar. Next slide, please. This is the centralized AC based architecture. So, uh, this may be the code for the same. Finish. Next slide, please. This is a hybrid copper ACDC best architecture. So, in my point of view, uh, this is the, the best option. Uh, this is the best architecture of the PV highway system. Next slide, please. This is just a share of the one of the, my article in the rest. Uh, I think you may know about the is the one of the channel published in the Nelson University. So you can download my article from this link. It's like this. Also, uh, these, uh, these two are the, my, my recent article that published in the IOB conference. I presented this box in the previous year in the Thailand. So, you can also download this article and uh, you can know what, what is the, the, the real scenario of the PV hybrid models in Myanmar. It's like this. So, uh, according to the agenda, I would like to share uh, about the one of my international research projects. Its name is the Future Dance. Um, the project is led by the University of Manchester in UK and the project is funded, actually the project is funded by the GCI, it's a global challenge versus funding. So there are about uh, uh, 50 researchers, worldwide researchers included in that project and this is a quite big uh, research project. You can uh, download some, 
of information from this link. Okay, next slide, please. I would like to introduce what is the future dance. And its name is future dance. Its uh, spelling is the design assessment of the water, energy, food, environment, mega system. Next slide, please. So uh, our future dam consortium is working to improve the design, selection, and operation of dams to support sustainable development in the region. You know, there are more than the 2,700 less dam plan over and are conservation to service growing demands for energy and irrigation. This new generation of dams can has the potential to make a significant contribution towards achieving the sustainable development goals and various climate change commitment. So but maximizing the benefits while minimizing the negative social and environmental impacts from the channels. So this is the big challenge for implementation of hydropower dams. So the project is led by the University of Manchester and then an International Institute for Environment and Development, EIG. And the project to the grant is about the 8 million sterling bomb. And Defended by the GCI and the RCUK. It's like this. You can see in the global map that, that the, red, uh, the, the red door is for the dam plan, and then blue door is, is the dams and a construction. It's like this. So, uh, yes. The aims and objectives are the, the rapid DAC. DAC means the Development Assistance Committee country achievement of the sustainable development goals by selecting, designing, financing, and managing the system to meet local, national, and regional development needs in line with the Paris Agreement. Also, the objectives are understanding the necessary system and long term cross disciplinary network and building institutional capacity. It's like this. We have three pilots and research and high impact application and building capacity, uh, capability and legacy. It's like this. You can see that there are the different work package. Um, in the work package file, the Myanmar is included as one of the case study cases. It's like this. So uh, the different portion are there. We need to investigate our social impacts, finance, energy, climate policy, government reform, economic analysis, and many different sectors. Okay, next slide. Next, please. So you can see there are the, uh, many, uh, many big uh, professor included in the, that project. Next, please. This is just a, a case study of the Boda River Basin. Next slide, please. So in our project, there are the institutional Advisory board, including IUCN, World Bank, TNC, IHA, and, and Climate Bonds Initiative. Also, uh, other organizations are IMC, EIB, EBRT, UNEC, and FAO. It's like this. So, the research question are what is happening now and what should we improve and how can we improve? It's like this. This is the information about the, our uh, future dance research project. Uh, principal investigator, the Professor T.B. Hoon awarded OBE in uh, January 2020. So uh, we are the deep congratulations to the Professor T.B. Hoon, who is the principal investigator of the, our project. It's like this. So you can find his name in the Google Scholar and his citation is about a, 
30,000. So it is less uh, potential of application and then the highest uh, research impact of the Professor David Horn. Next slide, please. These are some of the recording photo uh, that, that our colleagues from the University of Manchester uh, visited at our university. This is a Yango Technological University in the uh, before and December 2018. And here's the Professor Debbie Hon. Here's the Professor Julian. Yes, next slide, please. These are the some of the photo of the uh, future land space workshop in the June 2019. So the many organizations and uh, the students and the uh, officials from the different ministry attended that workshop. It's like this. Uh, this is a successful the sign MOU between future land space consortium and the Myanmar Redress Committee in the uh, year 2019. You can download the, the DD information in this link. Next slide, please. This is a photo of the second workshop in the year 2019. So many participants attended that workshop. Next slide, please. These are some of the photo of uh, when I was in Manchester and uh, we developed together about the integrated model of for Myanmar regarding the uh, water and energy setter. Next slide, please. These are some of the photo regarding the my training of the future and project in the January 2020. It's like this. So Professor Debbie Hoon outlines the our future and project. So if you're interested about the project, uh, uh, you can see the YouTube video and the click the clicking in this link. It's like this. This is the interview to the Professor David Horn about the global dispatch program. Focus, it's like this. This is the lecture of the Professor David Horn at the Peking University about the past, present, and the futures of dance. It's like this. This is about the Talk of the Professor Julian Haru at the Geneva Water Health. And you can see this presentation by, by clicking on this link. Next slide, please. Recently, the Professor David Hoon uh, blocked uh, one of the dialogue. It's named the futures of dance and the future of the planet. So uh, you can read uh, the, the progress at the is the, on the, this link. Okay, this like this. So uh, also, if you're interested about the pros and cons of the less hydropower financing model, you can read the new open access research article in this link. Next slide, please. Also, you can read the water management for climate change, adaptation, emerging trends, and new research in this link. Next slide, please. Also, the Future Dance uh, Research Consortium, Tableau, Recently, the uh, dams and the COVID-19, uh, you can read some thoughts 
on this link. Next slide, please. Uh, also, uh, I answer some question in the future dance uh, annual research uh, forum. So, uh, if you uh, interest about the energy needs of Jamba, uh, you can click on this link and then you can read. Actually, our future dance is a decision making framework. Yes. Also, you can see uh, uh, the energy needs of Myanmar in this YouTube link. Next slide, please. Uh, for Myanmar, we need to uh, effectively harness the country's tremendous potential hydropower with the least environmental and social impact. Therefore, we need to apply the innovative and eco friendly technologies and also, we need to implement a grid connected floating solar PV hybrid system, as well as the fan storage hydro system and maybe hybrid with the solar PV system. These are the sign of the message uh, you can uh, see in this YouTube file. It's like this. This is my hope for our research project. I hope our future research can address the needs of energy needs of Myanmar. Next slide, please. So uh, this is uh, the information sharing about uh, my future and training at the Ministry of Electricity and Energy. So uh, you can see the PowerPoint file and training materials and uh, many concepts and theory by clicking on this link. It's like this. Here you can see I share the information of the, my training to the fifth batch of young water professional, first batch of Myanmar Water Academy, Academy regarding the future and project. So uh, you can see this, this is the, the great uh, training, very important training in Myanmar. You can read the, the full information in this link. Next slide. Here are the sign of the challenge uh, regarding to develop the renewable energy setup. So our target is very low and also we need to develop some of the bigger framework and the system, we need to add the sign of the system connection, just like this. So our needs are, uh, we need to develop the, the renewable energy roadmap for Myanmar. Also, uh, we need to perform the strategic planning uh, to update the sustainable uh, renewable energy system. Also, we need to enhance the technology cascade and also we need to improve the capacity building, awareness enhancing, trust building, and we need to uh, address the standardization and uh, we need to address the financial issue and the song. Also, we need to uh, develop the strong collaboration of the university and the industry, the ministry. It's like this. As a Conclusion, you know, and the hydropower is a very important uh, power plant in Myanmar. So we need to make the sun of key our dialogue to be the sustainable hydropower development, as well as the sustainable renewables projects in Myanmar. Also, we need to implement the pan story hydropower station. Also, we need to integrate the floating solar PV system at the appropriate dams and reservoir. Also, we need to adopt the guidelines and plans for the grid optimization. So, these are the formulation uh, regarding the sustainable hydropower development as well as the renewable energy development in Myanmar. Next slide, please. Okay, thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you, sir. Uh, it was a great session. Next, next we will go for the uh, uh, feed, uh, feedback and questions from the participants. Those okay. uh, participants who want to ask any questions, please raise your hands in the Zoom room so that uh, I will unmute you one by one. First, we have uh, uh, Nelly Sarita Rani who has raised her hand to uh, put up her question. Nili Sarita Rani. She 
there. Okay, I think Sukhdi ma'am is having some questions. Ah, yes, ma'am. Sukhdi, so, wait, I will just unmute her. Next, Sukhdi ma'am. Sukhdi ma'am, just a second, just a second. Yeah, you can Yes, so ma'am, you can go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, I would like to know the information about the renewable energy plan in Myanmar. Is it changed? Is there anything changed in the plan uh, after the COVID-19 situation? Do the speaker got my uh, Ong C, sir. Is it or the question is audible to you, sir? Yeah, yes, yes. I, I hear. Now oh, you can please. okay, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, uh frankly speaking, as uh, you know, uh, in Myanmar, uh, there is the, the less influence of hydropower directly the renewable energy center. But you know that there is a significant impact of the uh, social and environmental impacts from uh, implementing hydropower dams. So uh, currently, the Ministry of Electricity Energy Trend is uh, towards to the uh, fossil fuel utilization. I mean, uh, the 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 government, uh, the ministry increasing. The fossil fuel utilization to compensate the shortage of electricity in the summer, uh, according to the uh, less potential evaporation rate from hydropower tanks. Uh, but uh, you, you know, there are there is we have the good potential of the uh, solar PV and wind potential. So, uh, but the, uh, the big problem is the the low reliability and low stability of our nation and grid system. So if we import too much generation electricity, uh, too much intermittent electricity to the nation and grid system, there may be the, the negative impacts to the uh, uh, stability of the system. But uh, I think uh, we have the master planning, you know, Nyama uh, is 2030, energy system master plan. So in this plan, uh, there is the same percentage of the renewable energy portion, but it is not too much. The recovery, the, the low reliability of the energy system, as well as the poor budget. Poor budget, because, uh, you know, okay. Uh. We have next question from Prakash S, who has raised his hand. Uh, Prakash, sir, you can go ahead with your question. Yeah, just a minute, sir. Uh, can you hear me, sir? Yes, yes. I'm here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, please, sir. Uh, first, I have to thank this entire team for conducting the FDP for six days. Uh, really, uh, thanks for uh, uh, Bhubadi, sir. Then Ratan uncompromisingly doing all the convener work. It's all very great. Then your HOD, madam, everything, sir. Uh, then uh, coming to Professor Ang, sir. Uh, due to this uh, situation, we are meeting like this. It's it's very nice to see your presentation. Yes. I have a doubt, sir. Uh, what is it is? See, we do produce uh, uh, plenty of uh, renewable uh, power uh, from solar, mm -hmm. wind, etc. Everything. Do we have any uh, uh, reactive power requirement? Um, how do you manage when you get into grid? Oh, uh, so uh, do you mean uh, that, that we need to use the reactive power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wh what I mean is, uh, most industry loads are uh, inductive in nature. Okay, I see. So, while getting a renewable energy source, the power may be in real power. Mm -hmm. So, this uh, lagging, uh, we have some issue in our own electricity board and all. Mm -hmm. So, injecting the uh, renewable sources into grid. 
Uh, in such a case, whether uh, can you suggest any ideas on that, or it is going to be a normal one? Uh, yes. Uh, I think uh, if 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 we import the yeah. huge huge generation capacity of renewables, then oh. uh, I think uh, we we need to uh, shift or we need to change some of the our daily load scenario. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. So uh, that's a problem persisting in all over the places while using renewable energy sources, sir. Uh, and then uh, we used to hear that the power generated from India, mm -hmm. oh, we, we all are coming under one nation, one grid, and one frequency concept. Oh, yeah. So apart from that, uh, the power what we generate, if it is floating, then it is given to uh, Asian countries. Even it is mm -hmm. shared to Myanmar also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because we don't see Myanmar and we don't know about what is the present scenario there. So mm -hmm. is it happened uh, anywhere like that? Power from India is coming to Myanmar also? Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I know we, we have the, uh, our country is planning about the, the interconnection of the uh, ASEAN grid, ASEAN smart grid, and also as okay, some of the okay, from the in, in India. Yes, I know that. Yes. Oh, I so feel well, really happy uh, yes. with you, talking with you uh, through the uh, AVIT and uh, EEE department staffs. Uh, thanks yes. all. Thanks all for your valuable reply. Thank you all. Okay. I, I, you, I, yes. I would like to uh, warmly welcome to you from Myanmar. And Thank if, you. If you have any question or any needs, please send an email to me. I, Thank I, you, I, sir. I, will, I will support as possible as I can. Yes. Sure, sir. Sure, sure. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. I, have, I would like to request Bhubadi sir to put a few questions what we have Pratan. received in... in Pratan, uh, Bhuvaneshwari, a madam raised a hand. Uh, can you unmute her? Or yes. Bhuvaneshwari. Bhuvaneshwari. Uh, no one in my list it is showing, ma'am. You can Gen see C. there. Jensi, uh, ma'am. Can I, can I do then? Uh, just a second, ma'am. Uh, uh, now you can do it, ma'am. Hello. Oh. Uh, sir, you shown that the one of the slide is Myanmar. We are producing 30 megawatts. 30 megawatts uh, hydropower. After that, we can increase the efficiency of that, uh, uh, that project. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. You missed the uh, uh, 30 megawatt generation capacity. Ah, yes, right. sir. After that, can we increase it depending upon the hydropower availability? Power generation, you are asking, ma'am? Ah, yes, yes. ma'am. I think uh, uh, you, want to, uh, you want to know about the, the operation of hydropower plant, right? Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, uh, how can I say? Uh, the, tra the transmission capacity of uh, okay. transmission capacity of Myanmar is very limited. So uh, if we import the, all of the generation capacity to the transmission line, there will okay, be the problem. Sir. That's why okay, uh, some of the uh, hydropower plants cannot generate their full capacity. It's a problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. So only that uh, limit only we can able to produce in that uh, plant. Only 30 megawatts would be produced in that plant. Uh, I I show one of the story about uh, is uh, not forty megawatt. It is uh, okay, uh, that the install capacity is a uh, seven hundred and ninety megawatt. But, uh, oh. but uh, its conventional generation megawatt is only about uh, three hundred and fifty between three hundred and fifty and four hundred megawatt. I means the the, the generation capacity is only about fifty percent of five zero. Okay, so okay, so I show 30, yes, I showed 30 megawatt about the floating solar power plant. Uh, we have okay, the plan sir. to implement the floating solar power plant in 30 megawatt tanks. Okay. okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Once again, I thank the organizing committee, sir. Thank you.
you can go bhogati sir you can put question oh, for you uh, thank you radhan sir sanu sir very nice presentation thank, thank you, you very nice Thank you started you. from a hydro power plant then next you started a solar wind yeah. and yeah. a basic concept of all the things the hydro hydro presentation is very very nice excellent all the all the points are very very nice thank you very thank much you. thank you and uh, i have only one simple question yeah you develop on software no software for hydro power plant software software Sof yeah 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 For analyzing uh, the hydro hydro power plant, yeah, to yeah, develop yeah. the software. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, is it a licensed software or a failed? No, no. Uh, actually, uh, we are using the one of the uh, soft uh, browser that created by the University of Manchester. The browser name is Hydra H one G I Hydra platform. Uh, On the hydro platform, we integrated different type of software, uh, uh, MATLAB, uh, and JSON, and also Python. Uh, we are just using the the open source software like Python. The two Python, main type Python. 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 Two main yeah. types of uh, software included are the PyWR. PyWR means the Python water or modeling tools, and also we use the Uh, by energy by energy mean the by don energy so in general we we, we develop uh, two models the first model is the water model in this water model is included the hydropower dams and the the weather data like rainfall temperature precipitation and environmental flows many uh, data include water model and then the another model is energy model is include The energy data and electricity and transmission distribution uh, parameters included, and then we will integrate the water model and uh, energy model in into one one uh, one software. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this is our plan. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. No. Yes. No. Nobody uh, created like as uh, we we are the first integrate. Uh, These two types of uh, models in one is very interesting, and also the project score is very less. You can uh, you can see on the website. Yes. Okay. Is it okay. a open source open source software or license version? Uh, it's not. No, it's not license. It's a uh, open source. Open, open source. Open ah, open source. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. Now yes. I hand over to Madam Chitra. Madam, please take care. Captain. Ah uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, Rajesh Agran sir. Uh, Hello, yes, madam. Ah uh, sir, uh, we will release the uh, audio now, audio that video okay, and okay. audio launch. Okay. okay. Before okay. that, uh, or after, we will be having some talk, or you want. Okay, madam. First, play the video. Okay, okay. Ma'am. Ah uh, okay. So we were supposed to have a department. Uh, Uh, souvenir to be released uh, in this month, uh, but uh, because of this COVID-19, we could not do so, and that's why we are doing it in a digital form. Uh, we are releasing the digital video of our department, so I am sharing that, and I request everyone uh, to uh, uh, watch and enjoy this video created by the students. Uh, give me a time.
So this is the, today is the last session of the six days FTP. What we are organized, a lot of teamwork is needed, and we had a great team working on the background of uh, this. Uh, the uh, main, uh, we, uh, I would like to name everyone uh, for this uh, event. We had the great motivator, Professor Ashegaran, sir, vice principal, uh, admin. We have the uh, Dr. L. Chetra. Who is there in the video and he she is the hod of our department and convener of this uh, uh, program we have the, uh, our one of uh, our coordinator dr bhubuti sir and myself ratan kumar and on backdrop of this we are having uh, as you know we are having the live stream of this session and that has been coordinated by s prakash and uh, jensi anita uh, who are taking care of that and we have all these posters what we saw uh, throughout this whole event was designed by uh, Mrs. Parvati Sangeeta. And uh, apart from this, we have a lot of uh, documentation work and other things to be done under the background, certificates and all. And that all was done by uh, D, uh, D, D. Saranya and Kavita Kumari, ma'am. Apart from this, we had a great support from our non-teaching staffs who are there uh, doing our field work. Uh, to name them are uh, J M, uh, Mr. M. J. Raman, Vinod, and Devya. We have a small uh, Thanksgiving video for all the whole team which have worked and it is done by our students. And uh, so I saw, I forgot to name. There was, there was a team of students working on the backdrop also who always uh, watch our sessions and give feedbacks if there is a mistake streaming, coordinated by Gen C, ma'am, and uh, Prakash sir. So here comes the video.
So this was the thanks video uh, uh, done by our students and coordinated by Densi ma'am and HOD ma'am. I would like uh, Rashegar sir to uh, uh, Vice Principal Admin to share the words. Thank you, Ratan. Uh, so first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Angzia for the wonderful presentation today. Uh, my sincere thanks to Dr. Sukriti, Madam, for uh, participating all the, almost all the day. Madam is participating uh, in this event. And my sincere thanks to our uh, participants from uh, all over India and uh, across the uh, world. And uh, uh, congratulations to the team for the wonderful uh, uh, event. Uh, we didn't expect this much of uh, active participation from the participants also. It's, it's excellent coordination by uh, uh, HOD Tripoli, uh, Dr. El Chitra, Madam, and uh, Professor uh, Dr. Bhupati, Ratan, Ratan Kumar, and uh, Gen C, Madam. Uh, Saranya Madam and uh, other faculty members uh, and non-teaching faculty members it was a wonderful uh, uh, session and uh, the video presentation is also very nice. Uh, congratulations to the students also. Uh, since it is a faculty development program, but uh, the students are uh, keep on watching our activities uh, uh, through digital media. Uh, uh, I'm very happy to see that our students are uh, participating in this type of uh, uh, thing. And uh, first of all, I like to thank our uh, management and university administration for uh, uh, permit us to conduct this uh, uh, international FDP through uh, digital uh, mode. Um, uh, during this uh, lockdown situations, uh, uh, by using uh, 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 digital media and uh, uh, other uh, set of facilities, and uh, 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 more than two thousand uh, participants are participated in this event. Uh, very happy to see that. Uh, once again, I uh, uh, congratulate the department and uh, thanks to all the participants uh, for this uh, six days uh, uh, international FDP program. Uh, uh, the department of Tripoli is uh, doing uh, uh, great things uh, in terms of renewable energy and uh, uh, the department is having the Siemens Coma Step. It's one of the uh, uh, very few institutes they are having that Siemens Coma Step through the Siemens Coma Lab. Uh, they are doing a lot of projects uh, uh, in uh, digital twin technology and renewable energy and uh, our students are uh, doing projects and they are filing patents also. Uh, the last uh, three years and uh, uh, under the leadership of uh, Dr. El Chitra, the department is growing very uh, nicely and um, during this lockdown, I, I want to uh, state that, uh, that during this lockdown, they have developed on a, uh, a nursing robot, V2 Buddy. Uh, it was a, a great success, and uh, we have uh, donated this V2 buddy uh, robot to uh, uh, Pondicherry Government Hospital, Indira Gandhi Government Hospital, and um, uh, Honorable Chief Minister of Pondicherry, uh, Dr. Narayana Swami, uh, appreciated uh, that whole team. Congratulations to the team for uh, the wonderful uh, 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 robot, and uh, that we are uh, our institute, our university is uh, going to donate one more robot to uh, Rajiv Gandhi Government Hospital uh, in Chennai. Uh, we are fixing that uh, uh, time uh, for our uh, Chief Minister, Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu and uh, Health Minister. So we are going to donate this uh, robot uh, soon. Um, uh, under this uh, Ganeshan Innovation and uh, Incubation Center, uh, which this center was approved by uh, MSME Government of India. Through this, uh, they are doing a lot of things uh, in our institution. And uh, uh, I am very happy to share that our uh, students uh, participating in uh, many uh, national events and uh, world events also, they got a, a winner up and a certification from the world organizations. Uh, I'm very happy to see the growth of the uh, department. I my best wishes to the uh, team members for uh, doing more things uh, um, in future also. Thank you, Anand. Thank you, sir. Uh, so with this uh, session, we come to an end. I would like uh, uh, Dr. El Chitra, HOD Tripoli Department, to uh, present the formal vote of thanks uh, for this FTP. Good evening, the one and all. Once again, I would like to uh, thank all of them. I'm very happy to see all the participants and all the people present here today. A special thanks to Dr. Ong from Myanmar. And he had a very excellent talk today. And we were more impressed about to see whatever the things happening in Myanmar also. We were uh, studying and seeing all the things happening in India. But now we have an opportunity to see in Myanmar also through your lecture. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot to you. And I would uh, like to thank 
our management and professor p rajashekharan sir and principal everybody you can see in the video itself and uh, the main thing is because of their support only we were able to do all this program in a very successful manner and i would like to thank our management director research and principal vice principals and all the hodis of our college for making us supporting and uh, making this to have a very uh, successful event and also not uh, uh, only because of this the participants response is very good because uh, it's not easy to make the participant to uh, coordinate for all the six days and they all supported a lot to whatsapp groups or mails whatever they have a doubt they have a good response and we were all very happy to listen to all the participants and this will happen again and again and we will have a meet in all the forthcoming years also whatever uh, pandemic is occurring we will be ready to make some events like this and uh, all will be a united family i i feel like that because uh, all the participants shared their views they are very uh, like a family member they were all discussing with us in all the whatsapp groups and mails and all these things very happy about the event and finally thank you if i miss anyone and uh, very thankful to all of you and special thanks to all the resource people i would like to thank mr k bubadi niw chennai uh, the second session was handled by dr s sendil kumar from nit tiruchirappalli uh, tamil nadu and third session was handled by dr k ratna kumar anna university chennai and the fourth session was handled by manjula from australia and the fifth session was handled by dr prasip thailand sixth session was today that is today it was handled by dr ang from myanmar so i'm very 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 thankful to all the resource per persons who made this uh, very successful one and also hearty welcome to each and every participant who made this event a successful one uh, if any feedback positive or negative you can share if anybody want to give any feedback uh, It's a pleasure to hear from you. Uh, can any one or two participants, uh, you can share your views. If any difficulty you face in this, or any other thing you require. You can raise your hand. I will unmute you. Uh, Doctor Bhuvaneshwari, um, you have to raise your hand here in the chat box. Actually, okay, I will unmute you. No problem. Actually, it's a very good uh, organization. Uh, six days itself, we never face any kind of the problems. Uh, continuously, I am uh, that uh, participating in the program. It's a very nice one. That organize organizer uh, organizing committee is do done a very good job uh, because organizing one international seminar in a webinar is a very very that task that is a uh, very 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 uh, that uh, difficult to do this. you are done a very good job sir in uh, uh, participation side uh, we never face any kind of the problems uh, sometimes we uh, received some of that signal problem within that uh, two to three minutes itself you, you solved that kind of problems sir very nice very good coordination from your side sir thank you thank you very much for your organizing committee thank you ma'am anybody else uh, okay i will uh, request everyone to kindly switch on your videos so that we can have a virtual uh, photograph group photograph of this uh, session so i request everyone to kindly switch on your uh, uh, videos please we can go okay one more is there please wait Thank you, one and all. So it was a great pleasure to have you uh, uh, 
everyone abroad this uh, uh, six days FTP. So with this uh, uh, virtual group photo, we conclude, we can uh, come to the end of the six days FTP. Uh, uh, Chitrana, can we uh, close the meeting? Yes, yes. Okay, sir. We conclude. My, we are going to wind up. Thank you, everyone, for Thank your you, support. Sir. Thank, Thank you, you, Professor Ran. Okay, thank, thank you, Sukurdi you. ma'am. Thank you all participants today. I'm closing the meeting now.